All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day until we beat the game, whatever that means. For the purposes of demonstrating the higher difficulty settings, we've got blue stake is next. And for the secondary purpose of demonstrating the different decks, we've got the magic deck here. We'll jump into it in a moment. Uh, but first, I want to review some of the lessons leading up to now. And so when the blue stake says minus one discard, you already know, okay, that's going to make it harder for me to dig through my deck, harder for me to find the cards that I'm looking for. And so, you know, the game, the whole point is to play poker hands to score points. And if you don't find the hands that you're looking for, then you just lose. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, how powerful your jokers are it doesn't matter how many planet cards you have stacked up if you don't find the corresponding hand then you just lose um, that's going to happen however you know we've demonstrated in the past the ability to win each round and basically just one hand so one good hand scores all of the points that we need uh, which means the extra hands, the leftover hands that you have, you can use those as discards. You know, when we were playing on the blue deck, we had the extra hand. We said you could use that extra hand like a discard. You just pick out the garbage cards, ship it as a pair or as a high card. Even though it doesn't score any points, it allows you to dig to the one hand that will actually score all of your points. However, there's a cost associated with that. We know at the end of each round, you get a dollar for every hand that you have left over. Or the way that I like to think about it is sort of in the opposite direction. Every hand I play costs me a dollar when I play it. And so, you know, if you have minus one discard and you're burning extra hands, then you have access to less money and it snowballs on you. You know, you have less money for jokers, less money for uh, booster packs and so on. And so, Maybe something that we want to think about is on blue stake and higher, let's be a little bit less greedy. Let's be a little bit less ambitious. Maybe we don't play straight flushes at all. Maybe four of a kind. We can still do it, you know, in the end game, we can still get there eventually, but maybe we don't play four of a kind as early in our run until after we've done some kind of deck modification. Now, you know, let's talk about this deck modification. You know, the game is advertised as a deck builder. And so this is a core strategic component of the game. If we build our deck in a more intentional way, in a more strategic way, then it generally makes it easier for us to find what we're looking for. You know, uh, this situation of, oh, I lost because I didn't draw the cards that I wanted. Well, if you you know, you're never going to be able to get rid of that. That's always going to happen. But if you build your deck in an intentional way, in a strategic way, then that's going to happen less often. That fail case is going to happen less often. You're going to get the good stuff more often, the stuff that you're looking for. Now, uh, in order to play on all of the different decks, you know, some of the decks require you to win on the higher stakes. And so I get the question from folks, you know, what deck is going to be the easy one? If I just want to get, you know, the orange stake win as easy as possible, what's going to be the easy mode deck? And what I suggest uh, for new-ish players is the checkered deck. And so, you know, if the deck building part is hard, if that's the part that you're still learning how to do, the checkered deck, the deck is already built for you. We've got 50% spades, 50% hearts. Uh, you can very easily play three or four flushes each round without any discarding. And so, you know, even late game, you can morph your deck into maybe playing straight flushes more easily. Uh, maybe with a few tarot cards, you can play flush houses and think about, you know, instead of relying on these uh, flushes for your scoring, you can easily make those higher scoring flush variants that are going to help you beat the higher stakes with the higher scoring. Uh, as sort of a runner up here, um, I think the abandoned deck is also one of the easier ones and sort of has the same gimmick. You know, it sort of built the deck for you. Instead of messing with the suits, we have all of the face cards are removed. So like baseline, you have 
40 cards as your starting deck. In general, if you have less cards, you get the good cards more often if you have less cards. And so, you know, a common mistake that I see new players make is they're just adding too many cards to the deck. They open up the standard packs, they see the enhanced cards, and then they take too many of those. And so that's why you're not finding the cards that you want is because you have too many cards. So the abandoned deck having less cards, you know, by default is going to help with your consistency. Um, abandoned deck makes it easier to get straights and also easier to get full houses. So, you know, maybe you're not interested in doing uh, flushes, then you can do full houses with the abandoned deck. Now for us, this time we're gonna be playing on the magic deck. The magic deck gives us two copies of the fool. And so the way that you should think about this is, fool is gonna copy tarot cards, can copy random tarot cards, um, or, you know, we have at least a little bit of control over that. Tarot cards, those are the ones that help modify your deck, manipulate your deck. And so magic deck is kind of, you know, the high variance version of, you know, either the checker deck or the abandoned deck. Instead of your deck being built for you, you have control. You get to build the deck how you want. But then that also means you need to think harder about how you are building your deck. Um, and then also, you know, this is just straight up not as powerful as the start that you get from the other decks. And so maybe this will be kind of hard playing on the magic deck compared to those others. Instead of playing on the blue stake here, we're going to be playing on the purple stake. And so, you know, this doesn't change the rules necessarily. This just raises the numbers. And so similar to the green stake here, it just raises all of those blinds. All of those scoring thresholds are going to be higher. And so if the blue stake is telling us, hey, don't play those higher value higher ranking hands because you know you're not going to be able to make those hands as easily now purple stake is telling us well flushes aren't going to cut it anymore now you really need to be playing those higher ranking hands in order to score enough to pass these thresholds the scoring thresholds and so once you get to purple stake here um, and then you know all of the stakes are cumulative so we have the minus one discard and on top of that we have the faster anti-scaling once you get to the purple stake i'll be honest don't expect to win every time so we'll try to do the best that we can but we are going to need to at least get a little bit lucky in order to survive All right, in anti one here, the first thing that we should inspect is, uh, do we wanna take the first skip? So the red stake, remember, we don't get any uh, reward for the small blind. We still get the reward from having leftover hands, but we don't get the baseline $3 reward. And so do I want this double tag? Long-term, this could be really good. You know, long-term, you know, whatever skip tag that I feel is worth it in the future, this gives me a second copy of that. But short-term, if I take this skip, then I have to do the big blind without any jokers. And we've shown in the past, that's not that hard to do. We can do that. We can beat the big blind without any jokers. Um, you just have to play any two five, cards ha five card hands will totally work. Um, though maybe since we have the minus one discard, it's gonna be harder for us to find those two five card hands. And so, I think what we need to do here, and I think what is going to be most often the case, at least when you're playing on the magic deck, we gotta play the small blind. We need the shop so that we have a chance to get some scoring joker. Uh, in which case, okay, how do we normally beat the small blind? Um, what I personally like to go for is the high straight or a high flush. Um, I think full houses are too inconsistent. You won't draw them as much as you want to. And, you know, we do have like, you know, three spades here and three clubs here. And if I wanted to, I could do something like this. I could go, okay, throw away these five and then keep the spades. But if I'm thinking about, okay, what kind of spade flush would actually win, actually give me the 300 points. And it probably doesn't include the two and probably doesn't include this combination two and five here. Um, I need, you know, with a flush here, it's 35. I need another 40 chips. 
so I need an average of eight chips per card. So the flush is definitely not gonna get there, and so if the flush is not going to get there, then I might as well throw away this two. I might as well throw away this other two here. Um, in which case, maybe we'll keep king, 10, and nine, looking for a queen or a jack. The cards that make up the high enough straight are the same cards that make the high enough flush. And so you can kind of go for both at the same time is what we're gonna do here. All right, so we did get the jack. Now there's a queen will complete our straight. Or if I discard like this, I could look for my diamonds. And so what I need is I need two diamonds that add up to 11. Two diamonds that add up to 11. A lot of possibilities. So there we go. That's already... Uh, 40 chips for my flush. And then, so like I said there, you know, with the going for the high straight slash high flush, the cards that you keep are the same. And so you can kind of go for one and then after discarding pivot into the other. All right, this is huge for us. Um, sort of long-term scoring, the scholar is going to be the best option, though you know, this only works for aces and we only have the two discards. And so maybe it's not going to be easy for us to get our aces necessarily. But knowing this, once I have the scholar, then I can use my fools and either look for a death card would instantly create three aces, um, a strength card. I would be able to turn all of my kings into aces right away. And so those are possibilities with these fool cards. Um, though I think, you know, in the short term, the popcorn is going to be more stable. This is at the very least going to buy us, you know, maybe three rounds. And so I think we take the popcorn rather than the scholar for the, you know, just short term survivability. And then remember, uh, in this round now, instead of winning in two hands, now I'm guaranteed with the popcorn to win in one hand. And so if you win in less hands, that's worth money. This popcorn is giving me an extra dollar. Now, do I want to take the coupon tag here? Uh, my reward money is four plus three dollars. That's seven dollars compared to the coupon tag. You know, I get a bunch of free stuff in the next shop. Though I do have this additional challenge of you know, the score thresholds increasing faster. If you go to the blinds here in the, um, sorry, yeah, if you go into the collection here, we said uh, at all stake levels, whether it's green stake, orange stake, gold stake, anti one is always the same. It's always 300, 450, and then 600. Once we get to anti two, already jumps up to 1200. So, you know, on the base level, it's, 800 and then now it's 50 percent higher and then in anti three it's times three in anti four it's roughly times three again and so if i take this skip here is the value that i get from the coupon tag is it worth it that you know all of these future rounds come that much faster and i think it is i think for the coupon tag this is one of the rare ones that's not worth it on the lower stakes, not worth it on the white stake, but then on the higher stakes, since we have access to so much less income, we it's more worth it. In which case, let's see here. How do we beat this without, we've got clubs debuffed. I think this straight will already work. You know, we've got the plus 20 molt. That was 1400 now down to plus 16 molt. And so that same straight without the debuffs, I think would win the next round, the 1200. All right, so we've got a bunch of free stuff here. First thing we've got is the smiley face, wheel of fortune. Let's see what's in the celestial pack. All right, so among the easier hands to make, uh, we could try to make flushes or we could try to make straights. 
A full house is going to be a little bit harder. We're going to maybe need, um, you know, some more tarot cards before we can consistently make full houses. Full house is compatible with the smiley face. You make a full house with face cards. Um, Saturn less compatible, right? Because if we want to make a straight, it's only going to have the three face cards, Jack, Queens and Kings. Jupiter, you could have, you know, again, it's probably just going to be two or three face cards until you start manipulating the deck. So between all of these options, I think Saturn is the safer pick. I think Earth is more compatible with smiley face. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the safer pick. I'm going to take the Saturn, sort of acknowledging that this smiley face here uh, I'm probably going to replace it. Probably going to replace it with something that isn't dependent on the face cards. Now, you always have the option with the Fool cards on the Magic deck. You could just copy your first planet. You don't have to copy uh, tarot cards. And so instead of manipulating our deck with tarot cards, we could just make extra Saturn cards and get a huge boost to our scoring here. Let's see what the Arcana pack has. All right, this is a particularly potent start. You know, this is among the better starts on the Magic deck is where you have Hermit. And okay, we just get $10 from the first Hermit, but then these Fool are, are another $20 and another $20. And so as far as like building up our income, then that's it. We already have our interest built up. Um, let's do this i guess we also have the opportunity we can use the strength to make 10 into a face card here's what i want to do i'm going to use the fools to make the saturns right so if i'm trying to demonstrate you know how does magic deck work what does magic deck look like well this is a thing that magic deck can do you could just make extra of your planet cards for the scoring and then as far as like demonstrating, you know, what does purple stake look like? What does blue stake look like? Or, you know, higher stakes in general. Um, I will take the hermit here so that we have our interest built up here, but I'm not going to go all in on the hermits. Um, I think the optimal thing to do, the, the highest success rate thing to do is to make all the hermits and then go to $60 here, though that then removes a lot of the difficulty of the higher stakes. And so we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna go in on the straights and then think about how do we build our deck to make straights happen. All right, in which case, uh, I will save my $20 for the interest. The wheel, I'm not going to use right away. Uh, there's a 50-50 chance here. I don't want it to hit the popcorn and I don't need the scoring right away. Uh, do I want to re-roll the boss? Start with zero discards. This is going to take away my discards, but, you know, in one sense, I only have two discards anyway, so maybe that's not going to be that bad. It's definitely not worth the skip. I could just, you know, with the extra shop, without skipping, I could just find something that makes it easier for me to beat the boss. All right. Uh, I've got six, four, five. I'm trying to make a straight. And so if I do this, a, a three will give me a straight. Or if I draw a seven, I could pivot to maybe eight and seven. Show me a three. So we did get the eight and seven, like I was talking about. All right, so with plus 12, from the popcorn, no face cards, that's uh, 3,900. And so, let's see here. Or I guess plus 16 from the popcorn on top of my 10 here. So maybe we're scoring about, I wanna say 3,500 without the smiley face, 3,500-ish. All right, burglar beats this boss right this boss takes away our discards this turns them into hands normally this is you lose three discards and you gain three hands since we're playing on the blue stake or higher we only have two discards to lose 
So I think burglar is what we're into. I am going to take that. Um, this smiley face I'm not necessarily attached to. I want to have some other kind of backup scoring option. I already know if I get my straight, it will be enough to beat this boss here, this 2400. But it may not be enough to beat, you know, once we get into the next round, it's going to jump up to 3600. And so maybe what I want to do is I want to take a misprint. It is going to cost me a dollar of interest, but I don't have much else going on anyway. I'm losing my popcorn. My smiley face is not doing anything. Uh, we will take the misprint. And then now, do we want uh, these Arcana packs? I think we want to keep saving our money for interest. And now that I picked up the uh, misprint, I can go ahead and sell the popcorn, use the wheel. Which is fine. Some consideration for you sell the wheel, you get $20, and then you get an extra dollar of interest. Uh, this skip is worth $3. You know, later on this handy tag, if we get another handy tag, the burglar will raise the money a lot. Something to look forward to, perhaps. All right, what is the way that I get my straight? Or maybe I don't need to get my straight, because here if I have, uh, even without any levels, I know two face cards plus misprint. I think this full house could get 1800 here. There we go. Something to keep in mind for the boss also. You know, the boss, I may not need my straight, though the straight is the thing that I'm most going for. Um, let's see here. The Let's go Priestess first. So I have money and I'm looking for, you know, maybe some planet cards. So here, either of these. Mars is not really what we're doing now, nor what we want to be doing in the future. And so if I open this Celestial Pack, there won't be any repeats of these three. Maybe I'm looking for another Saturn card. Long term, more Saturn. All right, uh, we didn't get there on Saturn, but we can take Neptune. And so, you know, for this end game, something to think about is uh, if we start on straights, maybe we can evolve that into straight flushes for even more points. You know, in order to beat uh, Purple Stake here, in order to beat the higher boss blind, you know, the final boss is going to be 360,000 is like... You know, three and a half times what it is on white stake. So, you know, maybe we need to go for that straight flush in order to score enough points. Do I want this blank voucher? It is going to hurt my interest. I do have the opportunity I could later on get, you know, the antimatter gives you an extra joker slot. There are enough vouchers that, you know, trying to count on any one voucher showing up you know, probably not going to happen, you know, low probability of that happening. And so I'm just going to keep my money for the interest. I think that's going to be the more consistent way to victory. And then go next. We got a natural straight here that I am willing to accept. All right, now we're crushing. Now we've got Burglar giving us extra hands. Another way to think about this is it's an income joker. Those extra hands are being converted into extra money. And so now we've got $41. Uh, do I want Blackboard? Long term, I want to have some x -Molt. And so maybe here is something to aspire for. Maybe before I decide on the Blackboard, I should open up these booster packs for more information. Let's go Spectral Pack first, because that's the higher variance one. Do I want minus one hand size, extra joker, or specifically one of these becomes negative? I think I would rather have the consistency, rather be able to find my hands, rather than um, have the extra scoring from an extra joker slot. I think you can get there with just the planet cards. We don't need an extra joker slot. 
So what do I want to put a red seal on? You know, right now I have the smiley face giving me plus four on my face cards. And so maybe I want to make straights out of face cards. Maybe I want to put the red seal on a face card to re-trigger the smiley face. Though long term, I might be interested in uh, trading out the smiley face, in which case typically what I suggest is put the red seal on the middle cards, right? Because if you're playing straights, the middle cards are going to be used more often and the outside cards are going to happen less often. Also, we have in the shop the blackboard. And so maybe I want to put the red seal on a black card. Or do I want to do it the other way? Play the red cards, keep the black cards. I think let's put it on the jack. All right, uh, Arcana pack. Maybe before I open that, maybe before I open the spectral pack, I was supposed to take the hallucination. One of the neat things about the magic deck is you start with a crystal ball voucher. It gives you an extra uh, consumable slot. All right, now we've got, uh, we could do a wheel again, or we can go for the hermit. Um, I did say, you know, on the purple stake, we have to get at least a little bit lucky in order to win. You know, you're not going to win every time on the purple stake, and that's okay. Uh, we got a little bit lucky with the burglar being able to beat the uh, water boss. And here getting a little bit lucky with the hermit giving us, you know, a ton of money to start here. So let's... I'm going to take the moon instead. Uh, I think the hermit is the strong pick here. Um, I really want to sort of demonstrate, you know, not necessarily the strongest economy. You know, we want to build up our economy, uh, you know, through clever decision making. We don't want to build up our economy just through, you know, you got lucky and then that's why you got all this money. So instead of taking the hermit here, let's look at these other options. I'm going to take the moon because it's compatible with my... Um, blackboard and maybe long term we can try to make straight flushes and so what do i want to put the moon on uh, what i suggest is the middle cards are going to be the ones that are easiest to draw so maybe like an eight and a five though these are already black so let's go ahead and just make the red cards into clubs out of consideration for our blackboard we want to, in the end, get some X Molt. And so here's one that we have to build around a little bit, um, but maybe it's not too hard to build around. And then we can go next. All right, do I want to take a skip here? We pick up $40, or sorry, we pick up $23, but we miss out on a shop. We do then have to figure out how are we going to make 5,400 points. And I think we can do that with our leveled up straights. So let's do that. Take the money. Also gives us interest. And then go in here, the big blind. All right, how do I make a straight? Uh, I don't need the nine because I have the ace. So I'm looking for 10 and jack. Ten and jack. Like I said, we're going to get at least a little bit lucky. And there it is. Uh, do I need to get rid of this red card for the sake of my blackboard? I think we don't need to do that. There we go. We did roll high on the misprint. If we rolled lower on the misprint, we wouldn't have scored enough, but we would have just won on the next hand. All right, now we got a ton of money. And so with all of this money, you know, trying to do these straights, maybe telescope is the move. We did this before, right? Telescope with the straights. Straights, you know, they have the plus two molt and plus 30 chips compared to Jupiter. So faster scaling, twice as many chips means long term. Straights are going to be worth twice as much, which means if you play 
two flushes, that's the same as one straight. So even if straights, maybe they're a little bit harder for you to draw, it's worth it. So let's go Saturn first and then Neptune second. Neptune is gonna be my long-term plan if we don't get there on straights alone. Uh, do I want hack for the re-triggering ability? Um, I don't currently have anything that's working with that. Uh, delayed gratification is incompatible with the burglar. Do I want a standard pack here? Since we have the money, I am going to go for the standard pack. Do I want this sun? We already got rid of three hearts, and so maybe I don't need the sun. Just trying to clear out space for my hallucination. All right, uh, Jack, five, 10. What am I looking for? Clubs? I'm looking for not necessarily clubs, but uh, black cards, 10 of spades. Um, or I could take this five of clubs. I think I'm not really interested in any of this. So let's just skip. And we have money if I want to do a reroll here. Brainstorm is huge. Hologram is another X mult. This one's a little bit harder to get off the ground because like I said, you have to add cards to your deck and most of the time adding cards to your deck is a detriment. And so Maybe something to consider is when you're playing on, uh, or when you're doing straights, adding cards to your deck doesn't hurt as much as other builds, right? So if you're doing uh, flushes or if you're doing full houses, you're, it's really important that you add the right suits and the right ranks. If you're playing straights, you can kind of, you know, just have a mix of ranks. And we kind of demonstrated on the black deck as well when we're playing straights. So. I think I'm gonna go for straights again, and if I'm going straights again, I'm gonna go for the hologram. It's a little bit hard to get off the ground, like I said, but I think we can do it. I think the strong pick here, the correct pick is the brainstorm. The brainstorm, you can copy the burglar, and so even though you only lose your two discards, you get plus three hands, and another plus three hands is huge. And so, Instead of doing, you know, like I said, this very powerful thing here, getting the extra hands with the burglar and then copying something else, maybe X mult with your brainstorm. Let's go with the slightly harder path just, you know, for educational purposes. And so if I want to do that, maybe let's get rid of this smiley face and pick up this hologram and try to make this hologram work. All right, go next. First hand is drawn face down. Mmm, awkward. So I don't have the ability to discard, but I do have the ability to, you know, I can play these cards. I want to, let's play the ones on the right and then keep the larger ones. Or we'll draw into more of the smaller ones. All right, so what sorts of things can we go for? We can go for a three and a six. And if it's a three and a six, we don't need the two. Here, I don't know what this is. I'm going to play it so that I can flip it over and get the information. Okay. Now we've got queen, jack, 10, nine, eight. Maybe with this red seal, I can put make it into a molt card. And if I do that, let's also do a 10. Like I said, uh, as middle ranking as possible. There's my straight, this is definitely enough points. All right, uh, Neptune here is perfectly fine. No ability to make straight flushes yet, but we'll get there. Uh, maybe a buffoon pack. So, Troubadour giving us extra hand size, making it easier to find the things that we're looking for. I'm into that. 
Uh, Mailin Rebate does the thing if we discard, so we've got all these discarding things, so maybe I don't need the Burglar. Do I need this hallucination? This hallucination that's giving me the extra tarot cards? I think the answer is actually no, perhaps. This is currently giving me value, whereas this is giving me consistency, though this does have the conflict with the blackboard. If I have extra hand size, I could have extra red cards that I don't want. I think I'm gonna go for the troubadour. I think the extra hand size makes it easier for us to find the cards that we're looking for. And so you play less hands and then that's gonna earn you more money. Uh, in which case now, Arcana Pack, Hangman, I want to try to get rid of some red cards. So maybe of the possibilities here, let's target the lower ones. So maybe a, a 2 and a 5 we can get rid of. And then now, you know, looking at the rest of this, now I am going to take the money. Now I'm going to take the Hermit. Uh, let's take the reroll surplus just because we can afford it and reroll one more time. This does a thing when I discard. I'm not discarding. All right, do I want Jupiter? No, not at all. Do I want to save my money for the next round? Booster packs? Yes. So let's. I'm going to buy this Jupiter. Actually, I don't need to do that, right? We already have the telescope here you know normally I like to buy the planet cards because it blocks duplicates but if I'm already have the telescope then I don't need to do that I'm guaranteed to get the Saturn that I want so let's just go next uh, mega celestial pack is free but it does you know cost us however much money from interest and I think the shop has a chance of giving me you know a celestial pack as well so we're gonna play it out Uh, what kind of straight can we manifest here? Um, so maybe if I get a 10 is what I'm looking for. Something like this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw away the ace as well. Um, just gives me a better chance of finding what I'm looking for. Uh, I need a 10 or a 6. Uh, we did get the six. The question is, sorry, we needed a six and a 10, but we got the five, so that's good. Now the question is, do I want to get rid of these red cards or is this straight already going to be enough? I actually don't know. I guess if my misprint gives me a plus three, then no, it's not enough. Uh, that's okay, we can do this. So here, knowing that now, as long as I get my blackboard value, I will score enough. And so in the future, I'm gonna look for situa opportunities to force the blackboard value. Since I was betrayed by my misprint. So we know with blackboard, I can score 15,000. Without blackboard, I can't. To keep in mind, uh, strength is helpful if you're making uh, four of a kind, if you're making full houses. Not super helpful if you're making straights, though a thing that you can do is you can turn your low cards into medium cards, and then that makes it a little bit easier to make straights. Acrobat scoring on the final hand, it could be a decent amount of points, you know, a lot of points, though, it's a little bit hard with the burglar, right? If you're scoring on only the final hand, then you're spending a ton of money to get to the final hand. And I think we can do better than this. Um, so I don't want the acrobat, though. If this were an anti-7, and this was showing up in anti-7, where I don't need the money as much, I would absolutely take the acrobat. But for now, let's try not to depend on this. Let's try to build up this hologram. All right, what kind of stuff do I want to add to my deck? Uh, let's add a glass card. Because one, it adds a card to a deck. Two, because it's glass, 
it'll score more points. Three, because it's glass, it could break. And I actually don't want to have a large deck. I want to add cards to the level of my hologram, but I don't actually want the deck to be big. And so it being glass and it breaking is actually good for me. Uh, Celestial Pack guaranteed to give us Saturn. We'll go ahead and pick that up. And since we have the money, let's do a reroll. Emperor. I'm interested to see what the Emperor has to say. Let's use the Mars. Fool for another Emperor, or we can go double up on the moon here. And so, you know, at the beginning of the run, we said, okay, you know, one of the things when you've got the Fool to start with the Magic deck is it allows you to manipulate your deck. And then we didn't do that. We made the extra copies of Saturn. And so do we want to now go double up on moon or i could just wait until the next shop if the next shop has saturn use the fool to copy the saturn i think our straights are high enough i think what i really need is blackboard off is bad blackboard on is going to score us enough points so let's go double up on the moon all right do i want to pick up 30 dollars here since we did get the Saturn card, I think as long as we roll 15 or higher on the misprint out of a possible, you know, 25, I think it is, we can do this. We can get the 20,000. This says cards drawn face down after you play them, meaning, you know, with the burglar, we don't get discards. We play hands. So that's going to be annoying for us. I think here, instead of taking the money, I think I'd rather have the shop. Rather than having 30 extra dollars, I'd rather have the opportunity in the shop to pick up you know, more Saturn cards from Celestial Packs, um, more standard packs for my hologram. Though it is close, $30 is a lot of dollars. So I think there it is a close call. Even if you don't feel it's close. All right, uh, here's an opportunity to make some clubs. So I am eyeballing that. Uh, maybe before I make my clubs, what kind of straight can I get? I can get uh, either a seven or a queen. So let's get rid of the red ones and get rid of this three. All right, we got the seven. So if I want, I can go ace, jack, nine of clubs. And then probably use the fool to make a moon, though I'm not gonna commit to that right away necessarily. Here's my straight. All right, so there, with 16 on the misprint, we did get the re-trigger from the jack. Uh, about 30,000 points. Boss is 20,000 points. All right, so we did get the Celestial Pack. Would I rather have my moon or my fool copy a moon or copy a Saturn? I think I'd rather give me a moon. So let's do this first. Let's go Arcana Pack first. If I use the fool to generate a moon now, then there won't be a duplicate moon in the Arcana Pack. So maybe there's a chance that I get a moon if I open it now. Didn't get the moon, but we did get the hangman. So I'm gonna go moon here. The cards I want to remove are the red ones and also potentially the low ones. So here three and six I will remove. I'm choosing not to go for a steel card, even though we have the extra hand size and you know you would want the steel card. I think just making sure our blackboard is online is very important to me. I guess I should have considered that with the 10 of diamonds from the hologram, from the standard pack, adding diamonds to my deck. But it's glass, so we could just break it. It's fine. Celestial pack, now show me the Saturn card. And we have money for re-rolling. Do I want to take a look at this hanging chad first? I don't really have anything to re-trigger except for the one glass card. So let's re-roll. 
This is huge. Okay, we passed on the brainstorm. You know, we said brainstorm too powerful. You know, it wouldn't be good education. Uh, ramen here, also very powerful combo with the burglar. Um, it is an uncommon joker, you know, so, you know, it's not a rare or anything. I feel comfortable we can take the ramen, uh, in which case, what do I want to get rid of? We already have, you know, plus 16 on the straights. So this is kind of comparable to this misprint. I'll just turn it into ramen. All right, and we'll save our money. All right, what kind of technology are we looking at here? We got queen, jack, 10. So maybe I'm looking for either an ace or a nine. So this queen, jack, maybe I'll do this, looking for either a ace or a nine. Okay, these are not aces or nines. Okay, this could be a nine, I suppose. Um, hmm. How many nines do I have left? I have four nines, I have three eights, and I have four tens left. So this could be anything. Um, if I go suit, sort, this guy, this guy ends up on the end, for what it's worth. In which case, okay, this is diamonds, I wanna say. So in diamonds, could be a 10 of diamonds, could be eight or nine of diamonds, I guess. I wanna make sure my blackboard is on. That's mm, stressful, to be honest. All right, so let's do this. These could be hearts here. Let's get rid of this and get rid of these three. All right, this is probably an ace. I'm willing to bet that's an ace. In which case, this should work. Okay, now I'm on the look for, let's see, I've got red cards here. I got potentially some diamonds here. Wait a second. Man, this is hard. This is spades. If I do suit sword, this is spades. So this is my ace of spades. Okay, 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 okay. We're learning. So I think this is diamonds. I think this is diamonds. Maybe this is also diamonds. This is diamonds, something like that. All right, I'm gonna play the 10 and with the suit sort here, I'm gonna take these three and I'm gonna turn them into clubs. All right, those were diamonds, correct? All right, here's this. The only unknown I have is I don't know what this is. And so if I was really concerned and maybe that's true, maybe I am really concerned. Oh, well, this is plus molt here, plus molt there. That'll be fine even without the blackboard. Or if I was really concerned, what I could do is I could... If I go suit, okay, that's clubs. That's it, we've got it. Whoa, we did it. If we didn't have the times three, it would have been 17,000. We might have still survived. All right. I'm exhausted after that. Okay. Uh, do I want minus one ante? Is going to give us more time to grow our build. Uh, gives us minus one hand. So, you know, potentially less money if we have minus one hand. Troubadour already doing minus one hand. Let's go... Celestial pack, 
for the Saturn. Buffoon pack. Mmm, neither of those. For this blind anti-5, it's the same as the, or I guess it's technically bigger. It's bigger than the boss that we just beat. So that's no problem. I'm going to wait on the hieroglyph. As long as I can still score, as long as I can still win, I don't need this. Um, after the big blind, I'll reconsider. Uh, do I want a holographic? Do I want a random negative? Let me think about it. All right, how do I make a straight? Uh, can I go five, six, seven, looking for an eight or a queen? So, I guess like this, looking for an eight or a queen. I guess like this, looking for an eight or a queen. One of the benefits of having the plus two hand size is I can hold on to five cards. All right, so we did get there on the queen, and now we can go king, queen, jack, 10, nine, with maybe this leftover two. And we said uh, 17,000 I can do without the blackboard. There we go. Okay. We did not get the plus molt from uh, the 10 or from the jack here with the red seal and so that we only got the 39,000. So the next one's going to be 37,000. That one we could do. We have to ask this question, do I want a runner? Do I want onyx agate is kind of huge actually. You know, if you play three clubs already, this is 24 molt. You know, compared to how much my straight is base, then this is more than a times two. And so maybe something that I'm interested in is maybe we get rid of the Troubadour. You know, Troubadour, uh, it does make it easier for us to find our straights, though it does make it harder for us to keep our blackboard online. Let's see what the Arcana Pack has to say first. Arcana Pack says we could go death. If you don't, didn't know already, Lovers, if you turn a red card into a wild card, Blackboard says, oh, well, that's a spade or a club, right? So this is all cards are at least spades or clubs. So wild cards also count. Let's go Death, trying to make potentially more clubs, more clubs for my Onyx Agate, since I already have so many clubs already. Uh, what I would really like is maybe king or queen of clubs. I don't have access to eight of clubs. I have a lot of already. Is there a world where instead of playing straights, I play a flush house instead? Or maybe I go for this straight flush? Not yet. Let's... I'm gonna hit the 10 of clubs. That's the middle-ish one. And then I'm gonna get rid of the seven of diamonds or seven of hearts probably doesn't matter all right uh celestial pack show me straights or do i want to go for neptune instead i think just to play it safe we're going to stick with saturn we're going to stick with regular straights do i want this runner you know obviously we're playing a lot of straights this is going to be leveling up chips. Um, we should think of this as probably I'm playing one straight per round. So plus 10 chips per round is not a lot compared to I have a base of 300 already. And so, you know, chips jokers in general, chips jokers are really good in the middle of your run, though they fall off very fast toward the end, especially on the higher stakes. And so runner is not, that's not a long-term plan. Uh, it, as an eternal, that's, you know, I can't afford not being able to sell it. Do I want the agate instead of the hand size? I think the answer is yes. So what this is saying is without the troubadour, it's going to be harder for us to find our hands, but our hands will score more points. So we're making this 
choice to transition from we will earn less money by using more hands, but we will score more points because it's what we need to survive. Uh, same with the hieroglyph here. Do I want to go down minus one hand minus money? I think we're going to go one more round, though I am considering maybe taking this negative tag random negative. Uh, we don't need a random negative. So let's play it out. All right, how do I make a straight now? I've got a 10. Let's look for a queen, of which I have four. Let's, still looking for that queen. Uh, here, do I want to hold on to the nine? Um, I think I still need the queen either way, so we'll throw away the nine. There we go. There's the queen. There's the ten. Uh, Jack with the re-trigger. This is going to be huge. With the onyx agate, this is going to be huge. Okay, 170,000 as just a regular straight and not a straight flush. Now I'm feeling better about being able to beat the final boss. You know, we're not quite there yet, but we do have, you know, enough time where we can build up, you know, potentially more Saturn cards. Uh, let's look at this Arcana pack, maybe looking for another moon. There's a moon, or do I want to make copies? I think I just want to go with the moon. That's actually great. Uh, standard pack. Do I want to try to level up my hologram more? I think short term, I don't need that. Um, long term, yeah, I kind of want that. Uh, but this is, we just beat the big blind here, and so the opportunity is now... If I don't take the hieroglyph, that's it forever. Uh, so I am going to take the hieroglyph now. By the way, if you get, you know, minus one ante gives you another ante, that gives you another voucher also. And so that's kind of like, you know, shop reroll, but like a voucher reroll. Um, save our money for interest. Spades are debuffed. I forgive you. Uh, let's look for here, if I get a five, that'll complete the straight. Maybe look for a five. I think I'm down one five. Yeah, I only have three fives left in the deck. That's okay. Uh, do I want the ace or the six? Ace is debuffed, so let's continue looking for that five. Uh... 10, Jack, King, I think we can still get there on the five rather than trying to go for the queen. Here's that 10 that I promised we would be able to break it. Maybe next time. We did get there on the queen, okay. Uh, we've got two nines left, we've got two kings left. I think it's still, we wanna be going for the five. Though, Okay, I was gonna say, starting to have doubts. Uh, six, five, four, three, two. So something that I don't know, something that I don't know about the blackboard, if these are debuffed, does it still count them as spades? All the cards held in hand are spades. Let's try it for science. Uh, I can't play the ace. All right. Nice. And so they're even with the debuff, we've got 70,000. All right. We're definitely good through anti six and seven. It's just a matter of, are we gonna beat the final boss? Flower pot here for more X molt. Um, I think hologram is gonna be better long-term. Do I wanna replace my onyx agate with my flower pot? 
Mm, no, I think we've got the mix now. I think we've got mostly clubs, and so flower pot's not going to be the thing to do. Lovers could be good in an emergency situation. If you've got some red card and you need to make it uh, spades or clubs, we can turn it wild. We've got extra money for an Arcana pack. We could get another moon. That's probably the most powerful thing that we can do. You know, maybe now uh, our straights are more than our straight flushes, but we do get more Onyx Agate value. Um, do I want the other Arcana pack or do I want to save for interest? I'm going to save for interest. Um, I wasn't able to buy the Mega Standard Pack or the Jumbo Standard Pack. I forgot what size it was. I would like to get a Future Standard Pack to level up my Hologram. Even just a little bit would be great. All right, cards previously played are debuffed. That's not going to be an issue. We, you know, last round we played the debuff cards and we were able to beat the, you know, we were able to get more than 50,000 anyway. Do I want a holographic card? No, thank you. Do I want unused discards? We haven't been using any discards, but we haven't technically have unused discards. And so we don't need that either. All right, uh, do I need to make my clubs? Not yet. What am I looking to draw here? Um, I want to keep the nines. I'm looking for an eight. I'm going to keep the 10 because I'm hoping to play it and then break it. All right, still looking for an eight, of which I have four, technically. Okay. Uh, for the purposes of my telescope, I am now getting into the danger zone where uh, I've played high card more than I've played uh, straight. But I think that's fine. We've gotten enough value out of our telescope already, though maybe some consideration for getting rid of the burglar because it's taken away our discards. Uh, I guess I should have kept the king there, because the king gives me an out to draw 9, 10, jack, queen, king. Oh well, we got the 8. Uh, we have a, st a stinky 2 here. So I'm going to make the 2 wild. I'm going to play here is the straight. And this will score a lot of points because of the glass card. Though not necessarily representative of our normal scoring capabilities. If the glass card just isn't going to break, we can save the glass card for the final boss, I guess. That's allowed. Uh, let's see here. Do I want to replace the burglar with... I think the agate is doing the scoring. I think the burglar is technically helping us with income. Egg is also a different income option. Alright, Celestial Pack has a Saturn that we want. No Neptune. Uh, do I want the Jumbo size Arcana? Yeah, let's do that. Costs us a dollar of interest, but there's always the possibility that you get either Hermit or Temperance. You could get money. So I think, you know, on average, Arcana packs are positive. Expected value, positive money. Uh, is there anything that I want to use the hangman? I want to remove cards. Do I need the extra molt? Probably not something that I need necessarily. Let's go just temperance. And reroll once. Plus hand size. Is plus hand size better than the burglar? We only have two discards, and that turns into three hands. I think we'll keep the burglar. All right. Previously, we played the middle to high straight. The boss is going to debuff uh, whatever cards that we play. Actually, wait a second. Because of the burglar, every card is a card that we played. That's awkward. All right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a two or a seven. Light on twos, light on sevens. 
Maybe I'm looking for the high cards. I have a lot of 10s. Let's do this. Let's get rid of these cards because they're red. Keep the 8. Alright, so we got 8, 6, 7 looking for a queen. Looking for a 9 and a 10. Yeah, let's do this. The, okay, we got the 10. We're looking for a queen or a 9. We do have a decent amount of 9s. So maybe... We have the same number of queens and 9s. So I'm just going to throw this away and I'm going to look for that 9. All right, we got there on the nine, so here's nine, ten, jack. Wait, queen, queen is the one that I wanted. Uh, awkward. Show me the queen. Got there on the queen. There was a chance that we weren't going to get there. Uh, though, you know, if we throw four cards here, then we have three queens out of 20 cards. 23 cards. Uh, do I want to make a straight or do I want to make a straight flush? Um, I think we'll just play the regular straight for now. And like I said, save the moon for an emergency. Though it's worth noting, as long as I hold onto this moon, there will not be any duplicate moon. And so I'm currently preventing me from getting more. But that's okay. I think we already have enough uh, clubs. All right, am I interested in Midas Mask could give me some more money. I think it's a little bit too late for that. Too late for the gold cards. Standard packs. Let's try to level up this hologram. Show me some clubs. Uh, this looks like clubs to me. Polychrome with a red seal. That's lucky. Is it too lucky? Is he going to do the thing where he says, you know, we're not going to take it because it's too lucky? Let's take a look at the deck here. Uh, we've got the two nines here. I think we're good without this. Obviously, I'm going to tell you that this is the correct thing to do. You know, we already have uh, ace king, maybe missing queens here, but otherwise, you know, our straight flush here, nine would slip in very perfectly with the red seal, and it's got the molt card, and it's got the polychrome card. Um, I think we can win without this. So let's. Let's try to see if we can win without that. Standard pack here. Uh, we've got... These are not clubs, but they are... We could get a black 10. I'm willing to take that. Level up my hologram. I don't need to get hologram very high. I just want to get it a little bit higher. Uh, let's reroll one more time looking for uh, mostly tarot cards. Though there could be a joker that improves this lineup. Chariot is not terrible. I don't hate that. All right. Show me all of my cards debuffed. Yep. That's okay. Uh, show me... All I need is a three. I have three threes. Or I can try to go for a jack and a queen and a king. All right, let's find those threes. Three threes in the deck. This is also four of a kind. Interesting. Um, I have four queens in the deck, so let's look for the queens. Okay. How about... 10, I'm going to make it to steal. And then 10, jack, queen, king, ace. Oh yeah, we're cooking. See, we didn't need that stinking polychrome card. All right. Smeared Joker. Smeared Joker says, every straight is a straight flush. You get a straight, it's a straight flush. 
you know, with all these black cards already, clubs and spades. Um, we would have to get rid of something. Probably we would get rid of uh, Burglar, and then that way our spades count as clubs for the agate. Um, we would be using discards, so our ramen would shrink. I think we don't need this. I think we don't take this. Smeared Joker. Uh, let's go Jumbo Pack, looking for more clubs. Uh, for example, a five of clubs or a king of clubs, or we can go for a black card, not necessarily clubs. I think I'm going to go king of clubs rather than pick up the gold card. I'd rather have clubs for my onyx agate. Uh, we have money for the arcana pack, so we can go ahead and do that. Arcana pack here, uh, giving us some money options. Let's go ahead and take the Hermit here. Hermit does allow us to buy the Overstock. Um, and then if I want, I could buy this Earth and then that way it's gonna block duplicates of the planet cards. We have money for one reroll. Do I want Hierophant for a little bit more scoring? Long term, I think, yes. Let's just pick up a little bit extra scoring here. Do I want an extra voucher at the cost of doing a skip here? This is hilarious here, by the way. The ox, you know, it picks whatever your high or most played hand is, and our most played hand is high card. So playing a high card sets our money to zero. Except, wait, that's actually tragic because now that means burglar. You know, when we we can't discard, we have to play. We're gonna lose all our money. That's tragic. Uh, yeah, back to this voucher. Do I want this voucher here? We're gonna miss out on eight bucks. What kind of vouchers can I get? Enough. So what I've said in the past about the voucher tag is, a voucher is something that money can't buy. You know, like obviously it's 10 bucks or whatever, but uh, you know, you can buy jokers through shop rerolls. You can get uh, tarot cards, planet cards in the shop just by rerolling. Vouchers, you only get one per ante. So let's take the voucher. Our scoring is fine. What I want is more consistency to be able to beat the final boss. Uh, okay. I'm looking for 10 and ace. That's a flush. You want to tell me that's a flush? Flushes are worth 12,000 even without the blackboard. All right, that's cheating. Uh, okay, we got the straight here, though we do have an extra queen. Did we just say that we don't need the blackboard? If we go like this, maybe let's go king and ace. Use my Hierophant now. Give that a try. <laughs> nice. Knowing that I don't need the blackboard is very, very good information. Wasteful extra discard. All right. Now it's worth it to get rid of the burglar. We'll just discard instead of playing hands. Um, and then, you know, now we can beat this boss here. We don't have to play a high card. Uh, do I want to see what the Emperor has to say? Sure. Emperor says Hermit and Death. What do we want to make a copy of? You know, potentially this red seal could be cool. Um, potentially the steel card is probably the best. Let's try to level up this hologram. Hologram says extra queen of clubs. We're light on queens, so I don't hate that. Though we are passing on a holographic card, which we could always make into clubs. I think I'd rather have the queen. Here we've got another glass card. You know those glass cards, we can always try to break them. I think I'm going to stick with the safe pick as far as like blackboard is concerned. The safe pick is going to be pick the black card. All right, and then let's before we reroll, let's pick up a planet here. Emperor again, magician. 
fine. Okay. I'm gonna take the magician. I like I just like lucky cards. You get the money sometimes. Um, I do have extra money for re-rolling, but I'm just gonna go next. Don't play high card. Remember, I need you to remember for me. Don't play high card. All right, so here's the queens looking for uh, 10 and a king. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that hurts me. Oh, when it did that. Oh, the ramen. Please forgive me. Uh, can I get a 10? Oh, uh, I'm bleeding out. Uh, let's get rid of the kings. And the queens and here's an ace uh, show me a 10 we didn't get there on the 10 if we play high card we lose all of our money you know with that in mind probably should have spent all our money but I, I really thought we could do it I really thought with the discards we could get there we got so many tens in the deck well that's gonna happen all right here it goes Ow. All right, so we did get the 10. Now, I said I wanted to try to copy the steel card. If I can't copy the steel card, is there something else that I want to copy? Uh, so we got ace, king, queens. You know, maybe queens of clubs I'm looking for, though I wouldn't hate an extra nine or maybe an extra copy of this red seal. So let's do this. I want to go magician is also not terrible with a red seal. Uh, do I want to go the four or do I want to go the queen? I think I want to go the four. Get rid of the low cards and then, you know, force everything into these higher cards. So jack, 10, queen, king, ace. Is a straight flush, not just a regular straight. So worth a little bit less points. But we're fully online now. Fully online, we've got the blackboard, we've got the hologram, even though the ramen is bleeding out, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry about the ramen. Uh, paintbrush here. We don't have the money. That's it, we need the money. So let's go next. Uh, random joker. Worst case scenario, it's worth two bucks. If we roll into an uncommon, we could get something that sells for three bucks. I guess we don't need the judgment. If you get an... Judgment can give you Eternals. I know the Black Stakes has all the shop jokers, but every joker, including Judgment, and so you don't want to accidentally get one in three chance you have an Eternal. Four of a kind, Orbital Tag, no. Random Foil, no. Mouth says only one hand type. So that's gonna be, again, if we get the high card, if we don't get our straight, we lose. All right, uh, 10 here. I have three fives or I have more queens and kings. I'm not gonna go for the five, I'm gonna go for the queens and kings. Both of them got punished with the five. That's okay. Um, this being 10, nine, jack is a little bit more open-ended. So we got some more options as far as what kind of straight we're gonna make. Uh, for example, we could go 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen uh, with this glass card. Again. 1.77 on the ramen is not terrible. You know, as long as it's above 1.5, I don't feel bad about holding on to it. Um, I do want to keep the paint, or I do want to save my money for the paintbrush. I really want the paintbrush. Uh, do we... If I sell the ramen now, I could take the riffraff and use the riffraff to get more money. The tribe for the straight flush, not just a flush, or not just a straight, but a straight flush versus the paintbrush. I think I want the paintbrush. The paintbrush is going to make this safer versus the mouth. Like I said, if we don't get our straight from our discards, we lose. And so... I don't need the scoring. I already score 300,000. Let's go look for a nine. 
of which I have five nines. Let's look for, that's it, we've got it. He's so lucky. All right, that was the big blind. We must take the paintbrush. We will save our money for, do I want plus 18 supernova? I think we save our money. All right, if we don't get the straight, we lose. It needs to be a 10. We've got three chances to get the 10. We got it in one. He's so lucky. That's why he always wins. He just gets lucky every time. 200,000 points for that. I am keeping my eye on that. Okay. Straight from, we want the Saturn? Yes. Uh, do we want Photograph? Photograph is gonna give us a times two. You know, it's not the strongest X Molt that you can get, but it is X Molt. And so I think that is what I'm into. I think I want this technology. Let's get the photograph. And then we don't have a lot of money left. This Celestial Pack is guaranteed to have a Saturn card. You know, this is anti-8 already, so there's not necessarily much that I want to spend my money on. So I am going to do it. I'm going to take the last Celestial Pack, guaranteed Saturn. We're now flat broke. Crimson Heart going to disable one random Joker. And so, you know, if we got the extra photograph here, it being disabled is not the end of the world. Let's go. Let's play it out. Ah, steel 10 is nice. 7, 8, 9, 10, jack. If I put the jack on the end, I guess it doesn't matter. I would like to get one more steel card. So the boss, you know, the crimson, whatever doodad it is, uh, is going to remove one of our jokers and so i want some other x molt and so maybe a steel card i can't afford anything right now uh this garbage tag it would skip us to the boss it looks like as much as i hate to admit it it looks like we're in the play two hands territory show me a king king queen jack 10 ace Let's go 10 first. Jack, if this is the first face card, this will get the re-trigger the photograph. Ship it like that. So if we do get the red seal card with the photograph, I think that's gonna do it. That's gonna be a winning line for us. Uh, anything else here that we want? Uh, you know, maybe we want this celestial pack for a Saturn. Uh, I don't, it's too late for the straight flush. We already got too big on the straights. Arcana pack. We could get a glass card. Okay. If we do go a glass card, what kind of glass card do we want? Uh, we could make this red seal card into a glass card. That seems dope. All right. Big money, no whammies. That was our biggest one. What was this, like 2.5, 2.7? Uh, so we gotta rely on the photograph, but we have the red seal. I think we've done it. Um, so let's go, Jack. You know what we can do? Wait, we, we need a 10 still. I'm tripping. Show me a 10. Something kind of neat here, if uh, the Crimson Heart disabled the ramen, it would not tick down when you discard. Still looking for a 10. 
That's a 10. It's a steel 10. So let's do this. 10, ace, king, queen, jack. If I put the jack here, it'll get the re-trigger from the photograph. Maybe we'll ship it like that. Again. There we go, just like that. There was a little bit of luck along the way. Actually, there was a decent amount of luck along the way, but you know, also a little bit of careful planning. We were able to beat uh, the purple stake here. Uh, next time we'll see the orange stake. That one's a real stinker, to be honest. All right, take care, everyone.